This is the most important stage, when the sculpture is molded from the clay. Actually, the most critical artistic process ends here. Then follows the transitioning, making of the mold, and casting sculpture into bronze. And I must foresee or visualize the success of my particular technical solution and how it should work in the bronze. In this fragment, I can show how the man thinks and what he wants to express. If you look at the whole wall, you will understand the way these forms move and how they relate to each other. If you take one piece out, the whole composition will collapse. Look, you are working with the clay here, but you must see there, five meters to the side, and understand how these points are corresponding to each other and how they form this surface. As soon as you understand that everything is already manifested here in clay, the sculpture is pretty much done. It takes a lot of artistic courage to find the precise moment you can hear your work. I am almost no longer needed here. This is the end. So, these then are the fragments of what will be our wall. It's an exact copy made from the clay sculpture. We then pour the wax into the mold, turn it upside down, refine it, and that's how we make the molds for the casting process. Handcrafting is important in art. The more, the better. So, 3D modeling on a computer has nothing to do with fine art. You cannot replace the things an artist is creating with his hands. It's impossible. It was clear for me that this monument is not about specific people's faces. We don't know all the victims here. This is universal grief, universal tragedy. And my job was to express that. And it is portrayed in the language of sculpture, the language of a plastic form, because I wanted to provoke certain feelings. Sculpture, by its very nature, must inspire by its form. And then it interacts with its surrounding space.